Hello, this Fern educational video addresses the issue of ED patients with dizziness and vertigo with an attempt to successfully diagnose and treat serious central etiologies. This video discusses truncal ataxia and ataxic gait. My name is Ed Sloan. I'm with Fern.org. More information to follow. So the topic of truncal ataxia and ataxic gait is part of an overall hence physical exam in the dizzy patients with acute vestibular syndrome. So in this case, our hence plus and plus one more is head impulse, nystagmus, test of skew, adding truncal ataxia and ataxic gait, and looking for anterior stroke signs. If any of these are found, red light, it's considered a central etiology. So let's talk about truncal ataxia and ataxic gait as part of the HINTS exam. If there's a peripheral etiology, there's no findings, no truncal ataxia, no ataxic gait, able to sit without holding on and able to walk without a wide-based ataxic gait. A central etiology would be suggested if the patient is unable to sit without holding on or leaning, unable to walk unassisted, or has any evidence of truncal ataxia or ataxic gait otherwise. So in conclusion, truncal ataxia and ataxic gait central, consider a central etiology to the vertigo if the patient has truncal ataxia, leaning when sitting in the cart, or ataxia when walking, a wide ba base standing or gait observation. Peripheral etiology can be uh, diagnosed if the patient is able to sit, stand up, and walk with regard to ataxia. So I'm Ed Sloan, Fern President and Board Chair. I have no financial conflicts. Please go to our Fern.org website and our YouTube channel for more content related to the optimal care of the patient with dizziness and vertigo. Follow us on social media for more real-time information on the care of all patients with neurological illnesses injuries, and emergencies, fern.org. If you have any comments or questions about this video or other educational videos from Fern, please get a hold of us at fern.org at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day.